what is dfa the full form of dfa is deterministic finite automata uh, first we should know what is automata an automata is an self computing device which follows a predetermined sequence of operation automatically so now an automata with a finite number of states is called a finite automata so for the finite automata in which uh, so for the finite automata in which for each input symbol one can determine the state to which the machine will move so it is called deterministic automata as it has a finite number of states the machine is called deterministic finite automata uh, so in the next slide the formal definition of a dfa a dfa can be represented by a five tuple format these are q sigma delta q not and f where q is a finite state set of states sigma is the finite set of symbols called the alphabet which mean the inputs delta is the transition function q not is the initial state from where any input is pro, uh, progressed uh, f is a set of final state now here is an example of dfa as we can see in the graphical representation where q equal to abc sigma equal to 0 and 1 which are the inputs q not equal to a which is the initial state and f equal to c which is the final state now to calculate the delta you can see the table where the present state is a for a if input is 0 then it goes to a and when the input is 1 then it goes to b as shown in the graph similarly for b and c uh, now moving on to the next topic uh, our main topic uh, what is myhill nerath theorem the myhill nerath theorem as states that for a set of r of string over a finite alphabet sigma the following statements are equivalent number 1 r is regular number 2 r is a union of classes of a right invariant equivalence relation of finite index number 3 the relation belongs to r is of finite index where x is a relation of y if for all alphabet set x z belongs to real number which also implies that y z belongs to real number in this slide we are going to discuss about myhill nerath uh, minimization of dfa using myhill nerath theorem uh, this theorem is also known as table filling method here we discuss about the algorithm step 1 draw a table for all pairs of states step uh, step 2 mark all points where qy belongs to final state and qj not belongs to final state step 3 if there are unmarked pairs such that the transition of qia and transition of qja is main is marked then marked qi and qj here a is the input repeat this step until there is no more states left to be marked now step 4 combine all the unmarked pairs and make them a single state in the minimization of df so here we will uh, start with an example we can see that uh, this is a deterministic finite automata with six state states that is a b c d e and f so according to the algorithm first step is we will draw a pair of uh, table for all pair of states and we have drawn that table in the next state next step we mark all the pairs for which one state is the final state and the other state is a non final state for example if we see the state ac here we see that a upon a if we give one uh, sorry a is a uh, non final uh, initial state non final state and c is a final state so we mark a and c in this table similarly all the other states are marked with that satisfying condition in the next step we mark all those steps upon which if we give transition then we reach a state which is already marked for example if we see the state af if we consider the unmarked state af we see here that upon a if we give one we reach a final state d and upon f if we give one we reach that 
CM state F, which is a non-final state. So we uh, uh, get that marked state AF. Similarly, we get the marked state BF. And upon reaching this state, we see that no more states can be marked. So this is the end of our step three, that iteration step. And finally, we get our minimized DFA, where where you see that a, that AB step is unmarked. So A and B will be a combined state. Again, we see that the C C D e is a un, uh, is an unmarked state. So we combine the states together to form our minimized DFA. So we get A B as the initial state, C D E as the final state, and F as the dumping state. So this is the minimized DFA. We started from uh, six states A B C D E, and we upon up applying the mind Leonard theorem, we have reached this state, this uh, DFA, which is of three states. So we uh, we are successful to minimize the DFA. So we will see another example here. For uh, we see that here are five states, and for better understanding, we have given the transition table also for each states. And same we apply that uh, algorithm. First step is we draw all the uh, table for all the pairs of state. Then we mark uh, that states which are final and non-final combination. Step two that is, and the step three is we. Keep on iterating until we get that no more no more states can be marked, and finally we get that the state A C is unmarked. So the state state A C gets combined and form one single state, and we get a minimized DFA, where A C is the initial state, B and D are the intermediate states, and D e is the final state. And we move on to our final uh, example. We also we here see that there are six uh, states, and same. Uh, algorithm, I learned algorithm. We apply here also. Uh, the table is first filled with the combination of final and non-final states, and then we uh, run that step two, the iterative step, and mark the unmarked ones which are applicable accordingly. And finally, we get the step three where no more uh, uh, states can be marked, no more states can be processed until further. And we here the algorithm terminates, and now the final table becomes something like this. So we see that the state PT is unmarked and the state QS is unmarked. So we get our final minimized deterministic state final automata with four states. The U is the final initial one, P is the intermediate final, R is the final, and Q is also the intermediate non-final state. So here we reach the end of our presentation. We tried to give the uh, Mahilnerot theorem definition and then explain its application for minimizing the DFA. And so that is all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank Pritam. You, Thank you, Arnab. One thing you must know, this Mahil Nerod theorem. Nerod is Indian. Anil Nerod, his name is. So he is a, he is a computer scientist. So that is Indian name. That is one.